The satisfying downfall of OnlyFans siblings. That is a crazy title. I'm not too sure what this video is about because we finna react to this real raw and uncut. Y'all know me. I don't like faking any reaction videos or nothing like this. So we finna see what's going on here. Make sure if you all enjoy this reaction video, you give this video a huge like. Let's see what's going on here. F is failing. F is a D failing. is failing. For you it is because you're an A plus child. Right, I am. Shut the hell up. You're literally doing your 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 career is an only. From wow. averaging about four to five million views per video to barely hitting those numbers, and let's not even mention her Twitter. It's basically dead. Coming to the point, it seems like people have really begun to lose interest in Camilla, because scamming people on OnlyFans and many other unhinged things didn't just happen in one day. There's a dark addiction or habit behind it, which completely ruined her reputation and led to this. It's indeed very hard to believe that a normal girl would take this path, but you know every move has a cause behind it. There was a study held in 2022, which found that mostly females who engage in this type of content had low levels of mental well-being compared to a normal human being. And Camilla is definitely one of them. The cause behind Camilla's move was really valid, money. However, Camilla was not always like this. There are two- I don't think the world was always like this. Like, I remember back then, bro, like if you seen a woman, you seen a, a famous person or whoever with a bikini on, you seen Beyonce, Rihanna with a bikini on, you zooming in like, oh crap. Like, dang, this some skin, they got a wedgie or something like that. Like, I know this probably TMI to some of y'all, but back then, if you seen a woman and led the less clothing that you seen them in, you was like, for all of that. You seen him on a magazine with a bikini on, you like, oh my God. Now it's like a bikini in the grocery store is normal. You see somebody walking around with a string bikini, you'll be like, oh, that's normal. I'm trying to see her with no clothes on. Like, that's really where life is at now. And it's sad to see. Like, and, and it's like, you getting set out in high school, getting set out in whatever age that you start sending pictures, I hope it would have been middle school, but that happened to a lot of people too. But getting set out at those ages was like frowned upon. Now it's like people got secret pages and selling this stuff. And they're 18, younger than 18, and becoming 18 and just starting. Like, this is a career. No 401k, straight career. If they're making thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, they're messing up their reputation not only their reputation but you'll go on a page and see that them promoting their only fans going crazy double d nose no protection and then in between those posts they'd be posting their kids their family their aunties so they have a family dynamic in intrigue with cheeks being shown and and, and you getting dp'd i just never understood that like, like that's the most disrespectful stuff you go on twitter you see somebody you be like dang let me see kids Oh, I love her. Happy first day of, of the their first day at first grade. The next picture is some cheeks bent over art style. I don't get it, bro. Like this, this, this world is different. It's, it's zero respect. It's zero secretness, privateness. Like you get what I'm saying. However, Camilla was not always like this. There are two persons who also played a major role. One unintentionally, and the other intentionally. On November twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Camilla made her first appearance, and it was none other than with Mr. Beast. How much better could your luck be than this, right? Camilla was the center of attention in the video. She gained a significant number of followers after the video, and then she disappeared. But two years later, she suddenly created her own YouTube channel. However, her downfall was confirmed the day she created her channel, as during that period, she had already met Jack Doherty and joined his OnlyFans agency. I lost four hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars in Mr. Beast Squid Game video, and I've been trying to make the money back ever since. I was—I never even known what Jack Doherty gets famous from. Can anybody tell me that? Running out of ideas. I'm just gonna start no fans. At one time, people were looking at her as a young woman who had built a good reputation, but now she was just another OnlyFans girl. The biggest loss of making this move was that she lost her entire persona, because whereas once everyone was curious about who she is what her name is, and when she will come in the next video, it turned out to be a whole different scenario. And I think Jack Doherty and his agency are a scam because, let's be real, where are half of the girls who were in his videos? No one knows. She lost her advantage. Her curious and mysterious character was no more. Regardless, at first, there was some hope that she might be an OnlyFans girl with promising content. However, it turned out to be bullshit.
See, Camilla was diagnosed with a serious disease that has destroyed many celebrities and YouTubers for decades, attentionitis syndrome. This disease was rare until 2018, but since then, it's become pretty common. One of the few victims is the Paul brothers, and once you are diagnosed with this, you can't stop making mistakes. Camilla's very first video was very weird and different from what she was portraying herself to be. As this was not enough, in need of more attention, she thought of a very bad idea, making her videos weirder and weirder. And it worked like it was intended, but it backfired pretty quickly too. In August 2023, Camilla made her appearance on Whatever, and she received significant backlash and embarrassment. How tall are you? 5'8". 5'8"? Five eight. Five eight? Yeah. Okay, are you sure about lower, that? Lower. Yeah. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. Can you confirm or deny? No. Sir? I'm say I am. Sir, you're 5'6". I'm not 5'6". You're 5'5". Oh, five, five. I'm not 5'5". Five, five. No, she's probably 5'5". Five, five. She's actually 4'11". Oh! God! <laughs> so you're definitely 5'5". Five, five. I guess. I'm just curious, how much do you weigh? 115. I have a, a scale here, so what I think we're gonna do, we need to confirm if, like, <laughs> weight. So, um, I think, God. where do we set this up at? I think we honestly, uh, where do we do it? Hmm. I see this stuff going viral all over social media. Like, for some reason, it's just been going viral where a woman or a guy will ask a girl, does height matter? And then they'll say, yeah, height matter. If you short, blah, 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 and then going off on a short dude, then they say, okay, well, step on the scale. And they're like, why? Like, I just want to see how much you weigh. They're like, why? And I'm like, because weight matters. And then it's like a debate of a, you know how it gets red pill versus blue pill, woman like versus man. They always try to uh, project that and push that agenda online. Like, so that's what's going on here. All right, so. Can you see? Are we getting it? He's going to add like weight to it. Be like, yep, you're, you're 250. What did you say? 150. Checks out. Wow. Whoa. Is she like 150? Did you think she lied? Exactly? She's 118. Oh. I don't know how everybody do it, but uh, man, you guys are shameless. I feel like it's really easy to tell when a man's shameless. under 5'5". Five five, you guys are lying about your weight. However, no matter how weird her content is or how annoying she is, undoubtedly we can say that she really was the talk of the town in the last couple of months because even Penguin Zero roasted her, which is an achievement for a girl like Camilla. Unfortunately, no matter how much money she was making, her disease was getting out of control. She took a step that even a person with the lowest morals would not consider taking. She started using her family for promoting her OnlyFans. What? In August 2023, she uploaded her first video with her brother, asking a very bizarre question. So how does it feel to have a sister that has an OF? My friends always ask me if it's pink, but I don't really know what they mean by that. What? Nah, I'm gonna be 100% honest, like, bro, now we gotta fight. But why do you even put your little brother on social media like that? This dude is obviously below 18. Like, people do do whatever for clout, and that's crazy. I wouldn't dare, dare. Just imagine the embarrassment that he even have at school. Like, bro, you're, you're, you're asking my sister about her only, is it like, oh. Do you, do you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. Click the link in my bio. Just, I can't. What? It did you say click the link in bio to promote your OF with your younger little brother is outrageous. That is outrageous. I don't care what anybody say. That is outrageous. I just wondered how much of her soul she has sold out to be able to do this. However, there isn't just one video. There are multiple videos with very inappropriate and weird topics. Notice how she is sitting in front of her own brother. In my opinion, Saying that her brother is being affected is actually foolish because there are many videos with the same background and setup. And her brother is telling that she's not a good sister. Do you know why she creates that type of videos? It's because she thinks it will gain views, just like that one video did. But the crazy- It's the, it's the same thing on why these e-girls be online with nothing on and swear that they only try to attract the audience of people that are 18 or older. When that's really not the case. She's doing things because she knows that is, is generating the attention, not only just from grown men, but from kids. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's the same thing I be, I be feeling about these Twitch girls. Not everybody though, you know, but a lot of them, they be on this mug. I'm talking about like, boing, boing, boing. I'm talking about like, they know exactly what they doing than playing Fortnite. What 30 year old man, you know, just own Fortnite for eight hours while you streaming? 
crazy part is, her brother isn't the only investor in her OnlyFans business. On Minecraft. She's also trying to hook up her grandfather just for views. If you had 15 minutes with me, what would you do? Well, you know, uh, I'd have to think about uh, certain things, you know, certain factors like the speed of sound and, and light. You know, light is a lot faster than sound, and so that would would be depending on what dimension I'm in and uh, relative relative to where we are, but I'm not sure where I'm at and uh, I don't know what we're talking about. To ask your grandfather what he would do for you with 15, I mean, what he would do with you for 15 minutes to promote your OF. I don't know. I, don't, I can't even speak anymore, y'all. I'm just I'm just going to save my my headache because the more I speak about it, the bigger that my headache gets. Like, let me shut up. Clearly, he knows what she wants, but he isn't as creepy as his granddaughter. <laughs> Obviously. She even asked him how he felt about her having an OnlyFans account. How does it feel to know that your granddaughter has an OF? What happened to the whole I being an astronaut? <laughs> Is it something that you like to do? I mean, I love it. Yeah, it makes me, you know. I mean, you don't have to do this. Okay, but do you still love me? I do, but I don't want to think about it. Sorry, Papa. <laughs> Now, Camilla doesn't care about anything. She has normalized asking questions that are beyond weird. Because where money was once a problem, it's no more now. She's. I wish, boy, well, let my little sisters ask me something crazy like that. Like, what? Just putting money in her family's mouths, and they're loving it. Her mom wants vacations, her brother wants Disneyland. But you know, one person is extremely heartbroken. Her dad, I mean, just by looking at his face. Dad, how does it feel to know that you have a daughter that does an OF? Why would you why would you ask that? She is happy. I'm fine. Aww. You can tell he's just pretending to be happy. He still doesn't want to hurt her daughter for her actions. Her brother is young and he's happy with short-term happiness. But the damage he will have to go through in the future will be irreplaceable. Especially at school. And the sad part is, her target audience is young boys and children and they make up most of her viewers. Her editing See? style and sound effects are for this generation with low attention spans, which is very creepy to use as an advantage. Furthermore, we know she's an OnlyFans girl, but allegedly, she's also scamming her followers. On April 14th, a user named Gabriel revealed some shocking claims. Yo, listen up, everyone. There's this OnlyFans girl named Camilla Araujo who <laughs> keeps pushing click the link in the bio to see if it's pink. I fell for it and I bought it, but you know what grinds my gears? She doesn't even have the decency to show her whole body. Can you freaking believe it? It cost me five hard-earned bucks. If you got duped like I did, stand with me and let's take her down. No more silence, no more shame. Screw you, Camilla. This is a fake account because I don't want my mom to beat me. It may sound like a joke, but another user also mentioned that he bought her OnlyFans subscription and he didn't get what he was expecting. We can't confirm if this is real, but it might be. Who knows? Because a girl who doesn't think twice about her family, why would she think about simps? We can't even imagine how much bullying her brother is facing right now and how her family is feeling. Like, I want you to imagine if a boy was doing the same thing. He runs an OnlyFans account and he uses his minor sister to promote his OnlyFans. He would probably be in jail because this is- They would cancel this man. is a straight up crime. Believe it or not, her brother knows everything. And unfortunately, it is going to ruin his future because there would be no surprise if her brother also started an OnlyFans account after seeing his sister. And if Camilla ever watches this video, I just want to tell her that doing OnlyFans is a choice, but playing with your brother's and family's reputation is a sin. I was just gonna say like, you have your own choice in life. I'm not here to bash you on what you do, on the hub, on the, on the X, on the whatever you want to name it. I'm not here to judge that is not up to me, that is up to that man above. But to put your family, your innocent family in your business, not even just in your business, but to put them on a, on a limelight for millions, hundreds of millions of people to see is sad. And just for money is, is, is beyond sad. And that's just personally how I feel. You know, they might think otherwise, but if I was doing something like that and I knew that my little sister them had to go to school where people can bully them every day, you know, I had I had people where my 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 parents got to go to work amongst all these people. They want to go out and have fun. You know, like my family want to have family reunions and things like that. Like, especially the the young brother is probably going to be the one that gets it the worst. Like, I can only imagine being in his shoes because if somebody would have went to my my school like this, 
in this era, they mama or whatever, and we flaming them, they probably would have got into a fight every single day. Like this mother had to literally, this mother got banned because she was doing OF at school. Not at the school, but her son went to the school and she was coming up to the school trying to um, um, promote. She had it on her car and then she was trying to um, uh, offer to, for work and help. Like, oh, I can help with the concession stands. I can help with like, you know, after school activities. And they just kept telling her no because of what you do and the influence that it has on these kids who obviously know what you do. You know, but I do feel like there is some type of mental thing like you already scamming with the OF. But on top of that, I guess that's why she feel like it's nothing bad because she don't post anything 100 uh, percent clothless. You get what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's like it's just weird, man, to try to attract that type of audience. And I know that she had her little brother in no more because that's possibly the ones that got the most attention. Like, grandfather, this whole video in general was just crazy. But y'all can let me know how y'all feel about this down below, man. I hope if you all enjoyed the reaction, um, that you smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe. Uh, but just let me know down below, like, how do y'all feel about this? What if this were your daughter? What if this was your sister or, 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 um, or what if this is your grandchild? And they tried to promote OnlyFans to your siblings or to your children or Whatever. Let me know how would you feel if you were in this situation as any of these people that she has involved. See you all tomorrow.